the best revenge on your ex. Never beg for your ex to not leave you. Never beg for them to come back. Many people may not want to lose their ex and they will be willing to do anything for them. They will tell their ex whatever they want to hear, whatever they think will make them stay. But when you do that, they're just going to see you as weak. They're going to see you as a low value person. So you need to stay in control of your emotions. Because getting emotional is not going to make them stay. They might stay for a short period of time. If they're a good person and they feel sorry for you. But it's never going to be the way it was before. It's never going to be the way it was in the beginning. Not if you're doing things that you didn't do in the beginning. When you first met your ex, you didn't beg them to be with you. You didn't argue with them. You didn't act whiny and needy. So when you're begging them to stay, that's really the worst thing you can do. They might feel sorry for you, but they're not going to have any respect for you. So even if they do come back for a short period of time, they're going to have a lot of demands. Because now they think you need them more than they need you. So you're the one who has to cater to them. You're the one who has to make things right. If you want to get your ex back, you have to let them go. But that's only if you want them to stay. If your ex was toxic, you probably don't want them back. But if you do want them back, you need to realize that you have a scarcity mindset. You are obsessed with a lack of something. So you need to find your abundance. Because your ex knows that you're only thinking about them. They know you don't want anyone else. They know you don't have any other options. They know they're the most important part of your life and that you depend on them for your happiness. The person who walks away is the one who has the power, which is why it would have been better for you if you had walked away before they left you. If you told them that you're not happy with how they're treating you and you don't want to be with them anymore because now they're not going to come back until you're not thinking about them anymore until you no longer desire them. As long as you're obsessed with them and you're constantly messaging and calling them, they're just going to ignore you. It's only when you start to move on that they will suddenly take notice of you. But until then, you will be heartbroken. You will be depressed. You will want them to come back. You will be reading their old messages. You will be looking at your pictures together and wishing that you could experience that again. which can be a very painful thing to go through. It may even make you angry until you start to remember all of the bad things they did to you. 
Because when you wanted them to come back, you forgot about everything they did. You only remember the good times. You saw them as being perfect. Because you had a scarcity mindset. You were deprived of love and attention. You were starving. So you put them on a pedestal. You saw them as better than they actually are. Because you were afraid of losing them. You were afraid of being alone. But the best revenge on your ex is when you don't have that mindset. When you don't need them. When they try to come back to you and you choose to reject them. Because when you have an abundance mindset, they will come back. They will try to make things work with you. They will tell you they love you. They will act like the person they were in the beginning. The person that you fell in love with. After months of acting like you don't even exist, they will come back as if nothing has changed. But by that point, you may have already moved on. You may have met someone else. And you may not want to go back to them. And that is when you can get the best revenge. You can treat them exactly how they treated you. You can ignore them. You can put your new partner on display. You can put them through the exact same thing that you went through. You can give them a taste of their own medicine. But it's not going to make you feel any better. Because by that point you will have moved on. You're not going to care about them anymore. The only thing that will make you feel better is when you take your attention off of them and focus on your own life. Focus on what makes you happy instead of focusing on the things that hurt you, the things that brought you down. The only pieces of your past that you need to keep are the lessons you learnt along the way. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.